Lesson 1 will introduce to us two important terminologies in statistics. It also discusses the difference between descriptive and inferential statistics. It also describes how samples differ from a population. We define first what a statistics is. For politicians, they use statistics as facts and figures. Through these facts and figures, it will help them in their decision making. For weathermen, they use statistics to describe existing weather conditions and to forecast coming typhoon or flash floods. At school, administrators use statistics to see the trend and the number of enrollees. With this information, it will also be basis of the administrators in coming up with the school's strategic plan. For teachers, statistics is used in the computation of grades. With the use of statistics, teachers will know whether average of the class passed the subject. For our subject, we define statistics as a science that deals with techniques for collecting, presenting, analyzing, and drawing conclusions from the data. The word variable in statistics is classified into two. The quantitative and qualitative variable. Quantitative variables take on numerical values like your age, weight, height, your grade, or even the population of the students enrolled in the first semester of school year 2020-2021. Well, qualitative variables take on categorical variable like favorite color, degree program, or your gender. Those are examples of qualitative variables. Quantitative variable can be classified into continuous or discrete. Quantitative variable is continuous if you can have a value in between two counting numbers. Example of this is the weight. You can have a weight of 45, that is 45 kilograms or 50 pounds. Another example is weekly allowance. You can have 250.5, meaning 250 pesos and 50 centavo. A variable is discrete when you can only have counting values, like the number of students enrolled in the, number, in the subject statistics. You cannot say that there are 30.5 students enrolled in statistics subject. You cannot explain what the 0.5 means. Therefore, the variable number of students enrolled is an example of a discrete quantitative variable. Another example is the number of cars in a parking lot. In the figure, all stars inside the oval is the population, while the stars inside the shaded oval is what we call the sample. Basically, sample is just a part of the population or a subset of the population. There are two types of statistical methods. In other statistics books, they call it branches of the statistics. These are the descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics simply describe the data or summarize them and making the data more manage, manage, manageable. Describing its mean and variation is an application of descriptive statistics. While inferential statistics uses sample data to conclude a population, it is usually applied when you are doing experimental study. Example, a basketball fan computes for the shooting averages of his favorite players during the last PBA season. Describing the average shoots of your favorite player is simply describing the mean shoots that your favorite player had during their play. Example number two. A psychologist wishes to determine the effects of rock music on the productivity of workers by comparing the productivity of 10 workers in an assembly plant when no music was played and their productivity during a time when rock music was played. 
In this example, inferential statistics is the appropriate is the most appropriate statistics in the study because you are doing an experiment whether a rock music increased the productivity of the workers. Thus, example number one is an example of an application of descriptive statistics, while example number two is an application of inferential statistics. And that ends our lesson one. Thank you.